Hello guys, Mallory here. Welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been a while, but um, today I wanted to bring to you my top 12 uh, favorite Scentsy scents from this year, from 2022. Um, I tried, when I was making my list, I tried to stick to things that have only been released this year. So not things that have come back. So for example, like had I included returning favorites, like for the holidays, you know, um, like Polar Bear Hug would have made my list, but I didn't include it because it wasn't released this year. So I tried to stick to only new releases. Um, and I think I did a pretty decent job of including things kind of from, you know, January through the end of the year. I did miss a couple collections um, that I wish I could have maybe included in, but didn't because I have tried to stick to 12. Um, and I have one honorable mention because I just couldn't say no to it. So I have a bar for all of them except one, so I'll just go through these briefly. And again, these are my top 12 for 2022. Um, the first one from the Valentine's Day collection this past year was It's Love. I am still just as much in love with this now um, than I was when I was released. Yeah, and now that Christmas is passed and we're gonna be going into the new year, this is when I wanna reach for this bar. But really all spring and summer, I did reach for this last um, last year. It's clementine and like a sweet raspberry. Um, maybe like a sugar note in here as well. Just a great, nice, bright, fruity scent. The next one from the All Is Well collection, my favorite from that bunch, was Vitamin S and or Soothe. Um, this is in my club. Those both are in my club. Actually, a lot of these are. <laughs> a lot of these are in my club, but anyway, um, Vitamin S. This one just kind of stole my heart. I don't know, I wasn't expecting to love it as much as I do. I just love the aquatic, like, mineraliness to this. And this is a super performer. Maybe one of the best bars, um, performing bars in my house that I've ever come across, really. It goes for days, and the longevity is just, it's there, and it's strong. Scent throw on this is 10 out of 10. Love the All Is Well um, Vitamin S bar. Next one is from our Mother's Day collection, and that was Whipped Vanilla Lavender. Beautiful purple wax. Um, it's just what it is. It's a nice, comforting lavender scent. I don't like my lavender scents to be too herbal or too laundry-esque, and this is not. This is so comforting, perfect for a bedroom. I love, love warming this in bedrooms or in my office here. So from our Mother's Day collection, again, Whipped Vanilla Lavender. The next one, um, I don't have a bar of. It was a new release in the spring or summer, spring and summer catalog this past year, and it is still currently available in the fall and winter catalog, and that is Clementine Cupcake. I suppose I could have dug out the tester for my bag, but didn't. Anyway, um, just a nice, bright bakery scent. I w don't love orange scents a lot of the time, unless it's like meant to be, you know, super citrusy, like the citrus, um, like Oodles of Orange or Blue Grotto. If anytime otherwise orange is in a scent note, I don't always love it. Um, so when I fell in love with Clementine Cupcake, again, I was kind of taken by surprise, but I just love the brightness of that Clementine with the nice, like, cake batter. Um, it's not so much like a baked cupcake to my nose. It's more like a, like a heavy, dense, um, like batter. And it's just so delicious. I don't have any bars on hand. I'll have to pick one up on my next order. Um, so I can start warming that again. It'd be great after the new year, I think. I have a nice bright bakery scent, so... Anyway, Clementine Cupcake. And then the next one from our summer collection is Kikui and Coconut. Still, I'm loving this too. Um, yeah, I just love the like nuttiness of the coconut. Slight floral, but not a lot. It's just so unique. Um, and this scent profile was really on trend across a lot of beauty aspects this year because of the Sol de Janeiro, um, you know, infamous scent of that. Coconut and pistachio and so forth. So, yeah, I mean, Scentsy obviously was, you know, kind of keeping on trend with this bar, and I love it. I love the smell, that smell of that. So, Kukui and Coconut. The next one is kind of a little bit of a heartbreak for me because I fell in love with it too late. I didn't put any in my club. This is the only bar I have, and I'm hanging on to my last three cubes here. I'll probably warm them, like, after the new year and spring, summertime because this is such a nice, fresh, green scent, and that is Wally. Uh, the classified bar. 
Again, I kind of fell in love with it too late. I picked one up just to try it. When this warms, it is just like total springtime. Scream spring and summer, like fresh green. I think the notes are like green apple, uh, cucumber, and dewy greens. So kind of a generic like um, scent description. But if you love the smell of like fresh cut grass, um, anything really heavy on the, you know, emphasis on the green note, I think you really like this. And I hope we see this back again sometime, either if they re-release the Wally collection or if I see it like in a flash sale, I'm definitely picking more up. It's awesome. Not to say like I would want to warm it every day in my home or anything, but in the spring and summertime, this is great. And an awesome performer, maybe a better performer than you would think for being a licensed bar, because those aren't always the best performers. But this one, like I said, I'm Really sad I don't have any more of, but I, it made my top 12 because it's an amazing performer and I love the greenness of it. So, Wally Classified. Um, the next two are new releases from the Fall and Winter catalog. I've talked about them in the past. You can probably guess what they are if you're familiar with my channel. The first one is Huckleberry Hideaway. This is just a beautiful floral scent. Very unexpected. Um, decent performer. Very fresh, perfect for end of summer, beginning of fall. Absolutely love this. If I retire to the end of this catalog season, it will absolutely be going in my club along with Frosted Vanilla. I'm assuming that this one will retire for sure at the end of the winter time. I'm not positive about this one. Maybe they would keep this around, but Frosted Vanilla, amazing. If you haven't picked this up yet, you really need to. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna be reaching for this like the rest of the winter time here in Minnesota. Um, you know, I'm done with kind of getting over the tree scents and now I want, still want something like comforting and like wintry. And this definitely does this for me because of the birch note in here. Oh, so pretty. I love, 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 love this brass of vanilla. I wish it came in more things because it's just so, so pretty. The next one is a license bar. It was originally released in the springtime with the original Harry Potter collection. And then they brought it back for the fall or harvest collection. It is Harry Potter, Slytherin, um, Cunning and Ambition. This one has notes of dark chocolate, uh, green moss, I believe. You know, there's a mossy note in there. Um, and some type of balsam or tree note. I smell it and I think Christmas tree for like a second. But then that green mossiness and the, even the sweetness of the dark chocolate is in there. It's just, it's so nice. I think they nailed this scent like perfectly for for Slytherin for the house. Yeah, I just, it's a little mysterious, but also just kind of gentle and pretty. Um, this one is going away as of December 31st and I am going to put it in my club. Even though I do think we'll see it back again in the next Harvest Collection, just because they brought out so many new Harry Potter items in the Harvest Collection this year, I think we'll see it back. Um, but just in case, I am going to put it in my club. So. Harry Potter Slytherin. And then the next one, I tried to pick just one of the new, of the brick scents from the Holiday Bricks. And I went back and forth between Maraschino Sugar Cookie and Caramel Chestnut. I had smelled this last winter and fell in love with it. And it's a fantastic cherry bakery scent. I mean, I would find myself reaching for this kind of any time of year even. It's not so much winter bakery because of the cherry um and then like I said I debated between that one or caramel chestnut I wasn't expecting to like this as much as I do but that being said I only see myself warming this like in the fall and winter months so I think for that reason on my list I'm going to stick with maraschino sugar cookie it's an awesome bakery scent it's the perfect blend of the sweet cherry and a sugar cookie note I mean, re smell it, I guess. It's awesome. Yep, so good. So maraschino sugar cookie makes the list. If I had room for more, I would probably put caramel chestnut on my list as well. But for now, it's not going to go on there. All right, and then two left. I have from the scents of the, or the Vanilla Bean Buttercream fragrances, that collection, the Sensepirations Candy Cane Buttercream. I knew I was probably going to like this because like the candy cane minty scents have been growing on me lately and anything mixed with vanilla bean buttercream I'm going to love I think. <laughs> and while this isn't the best performer it smells awesome. It smells so good when it's warming. Like when it's there it's there and when it's done it's done which is kind of a bummer so I'm actually I put this in my club and I'm going to 
keep a little stockpile until next winter. And if by, if they're, I mean, after that time they've had, you know, 12 months to cure or what have you, if they still don't perform that great after next winter, I may take it out of my club, but for now it stays and I hope they perform a little bit better if they, if they sit a little longer. So anyway, this is just amazing. Yeah, it's so delicious. Love candy cane buttercream. And then last but not least, because it is a newer release, um, another licensed bar. It's probably the most floral out of all of these, and that is Snow White Kind Heart. This one, too, just really took me by surprise. The notes are, I believe, like apple or maybe even apple blossom, um, vanilla, sandalwood. There's something else in there, too. Vanilla, sandalwood, apple, oh, and lily of the valley. That's the strong floral in it. And... It's just such a beautiful floral scent. I don't always love florals. It depends on you know how they're done and so forth. But this is just, it's beautiful. It makes me want springtime. Um, this is my only current bar, but I am going to pick up a couple more. Maybe after the new year. Um, to hang on to for the spring and summertime. It's just so nice. I need to really warm this. It'd be I think it would be hold up decent in an open concept. It'd be a nice like bathroom scent. Yeah. It's the apple note in here that... In, that kind of does it for me. I don't know. Kind heart. Really beautiful. Said to feel like florals. And then my one honorable mention. Because I didn't include any bring back my bars. In my top 12 list. I definitely could have. Um, but my honorable mention. Goes to a bring back my bar. From the um, last June round. And that is cotton candy cookie. We've seen this before. In collections past. Um, it's, I believe it's been in a bring back my bar before. And then since he brought it out. In an Easter collection. Um, and I kind of just ignored it. It was like cotton candy cookie. Nah. Um, I think finally got it in my bring back my bar kit in June and I'm obsessed. It's awesome. It's sweet, like cotton candy you can smell a little bit of like a browned, um, cookie note. And then there's like a slight raspberryness to this too. It's so good. So good. So good. So Cotton candy cookies is my honorable mention. But that is it. Um, thank you so much for watching. Do you, Would any of these like make your top 10 or top 12 list for the year? Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video, which will be my empties for December, my last empties of the year. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.